much biology. All right, so Congress is getting another bad grade, this time because of a new study that shows lawmakers don't sound so smart. What are you talking about? The congressional dialogue is even on par with high school students' vocabulary oh. in some cases. ABC's Sunland Miller shows us why they didn't make the grade. Congress may be getting dumber. At least that's the way it sounds. A new study finds that Congress has gone from speaking collectively at an 11th grade level to now only a 10th grade level. And for some in Congress, it gets even uglier. A mathematical formula calculated final grades for all members based on sentence structure and word choice. Here are the worst offenders from the House. South Carolina Representative Mick Mulvaney, who only speaks at a 7th grade level. And Kentucky Senator Rand Paul, he speaks at an 8th grade level. But among the best congressional speakers at what amounts to a 16th grade level, Representative Dan Brin from California, and from the Senate, Hawaii's Daniel Akaka, speaking at a 14th grade level. The difference isn't hard to hear. Reductions in committee funding will require committees to allocate their resources more judiciously. Do you ever really intend to pay it back? And if the answer is yes, which I assume that it is, my question then would be, well, when? But could speaking plainly sometimes be a good thing? By the same standard, I'm now communicating with you at a ninth grade level. And some say for Congress, this could be useful. With so many complicated issues, it's easiest to break it all down into concise words. And new members of Congress may be paying attention. The study shows the sharp decline started with the flood of new members coming to Congress in 2010. Lee Drutman conducted the nonpartisan study. He suggests they're dumbing it down for a reason. A lot of younger members uh, want to speak more directly to their constituents. Speaking plainly, speaking directly, is more of a populist approach. Whatever the approach, the grades up here keep falling. Sunlin Miller, ABC News on Capitol Hill. You know, you always want the people running the country to be smarter than you are. Yes. But at the same time, how many times have you heard them up there talking whatever they're talking about, and you're sitting there going, can you repeat it in English now? I guess it's not much of a trouble for Congress to say, hey, check it out. <laughs> you can trust that guy. Vote for him. Oh, yeah. <laughs>